Hi, in this video, I will give a brief description how to use the visualizers in this simulation to do the lab 1 and lab 2 uh, of uh, OptiSystem lab assignment which you can access on optiwave.com slash academia slash program.html You can see the output power uh, optical output power I mean by using this optical power meter double click on that and you will see the upper box having the output to po output power in watts and the bottom box is having the power in dBm output power at the end of the fiber can be checked by using this box In the lab 1 and lab 2 exercises, we are going to use the uh, BER analyzer for a lot of questions. You can find Q factor from this. Uh, one of the reasons that you will find the output of lab 2 of Opti Performer is different than this is because of the fact that Opti system is much more a complicated and advanced version of Opti Performer and it has a lot lot of free variables to play with. We have not explored all the free variables and we have done a very simple simulation. That that can be one of the reasons why the Q factor for the same parameters looks much different than the Q factor uh, done on the simulation by using Opti Performer. I diagram can be seen by checking this box. Minimum BER can be seen by using this box. The value is also in this uh, table. Threshold is here and the graph is here. I height is this value and you can see the pattern on this uh, window. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to export the file uh, which we have created on OptiSystem to its corresponding OptiPerformer. Go to the export, men uh, export menu uh, in the file. Click OptiPerformer. Click export. Yes. Check this extension, it is OSP, which is the file compatible for OptiPerformer. In the lab 2, uh, you have the bit rate of 10 gigabits per second, which you can change by uh, this way. In this toolbox, make it 10, click evaluate, click OK, click evaluate script, click OK, go to calculate, click this, the simulation is done. Now let us just quickly see the results. This is going to be seen. This will be much different as you can see. Now let us see the BER analyzer. Now look at the eye diagram which is much different. The Q factor is also different. It has in fact reduced a lot. This is the minimum BER threshold. height which has significantly been changed I hope this quick brief uh, description will be enough to solve the lab 1 and lab 2 exercise thanks for watching this video